Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and to this video where we are going to do a very, 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 very easy Halloween look. Just adding a little bit of gore to a glam look. Maybe you're like me. Maybe you're not all about the SFX. Maybe you're not all about dressing up. But maybe people are expecting you to. This could be a nice and easy, easy, very easy way. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. To just Halloween up a normal glam look to fit in at the party but at the same time not go all in because I'm not the type of person and maybe you're not either and if you haven't been here before my name is Angie hello welcome to my channel welcome to a place where we play with color and makeup and different brands and different techniques to just have fun with makeup I love color so much so on my channel you will see a lot of colorful things and if that sounds like something you would like don't forget to subscribe because I upload several videos a week <laughs> I'm super excited to be letting you know that this video is in collaboration with Look Fantastic. I'm super grateful that Look Fantastic is sponsoring this video. I did receive these products from Look Fantastic and I will link where you'll be able to find them down below. Also, they gave me a discount code that you can use to have some money off their Halloween selection. I will also leave that down below. They have such a great selection of so many brands, well-known brands like By Terry, Natasha Denona, NYX, MAC, Urban Decay, but also some Korean brands like Tony Moly, and then some European brands like Sleek, for example, affordable drugstore brands, maybe some brands that you are not finding in every other place. They have just everything collected. They are available in all parts of the world, and I will link a couple of places down below. Don't forget to check it out. I buy a lot of my Natasha Denona, Urban Decay, and my favorite tanner from Look Fantastic, because they sell Bondi Sands, and I buy the Bondi Sand One Hour Express. That is my favorite self-tanner, and I always buy it from Look Fantastic. So I was super excited when they reached out and asked if I wanted to do an easy Halloween look with them. First of all, I'm not the person that dresses up for Halloween, so I thought that this could be an easy way if you're like me and you don't like dressing up for Halloween, but you like just adding that little extra so that you can somehow fit in, but you're not all about the gore and like, I don't want to look like a zombie, I don't want to have the fake blood and the, the, the prosthetics and, and, and the, like the latex. I, that's not the life that I'm living and if you're like me, maybe this could be an easy way. So I will link all the info that you need down below. This is not the first time that I'm mentioning Look Fantastic on my channel. If you've been here for a while, you know that I actually traveled to Manchester in UK and visited them and their like warehouse. It's a pretty cool place. That vlog is actually up on my channel if you want to have a peek. I will link the Swedish page because I am of course in Sweden. I will also link a couple of other places down below because they are available in so many different countries and they ship to so many different countries. So I will leave that down below. Again, thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get into this super, super easy Halloween look. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you again for being here and supporting my channel and I will get into the look. Okay, so I got out of the shower and I just did my hair and I thought that we could start with a little bit of prep. If you are going and doing something special, if that means like going to a party, going to a Zoom meeting, sometimes it's nice to do a little prep. The makeup goes on nicer, it will last on you longer, especially if you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup. So what I'm going to be using is a mask. I got this from Tony Moly. Look Fantastic sells a lot of really cool brands, not only American and European, but also some Asian ones. So you can find Tony Moly there. This is the Unreal Pumpkin Mask Sheet and the Agent. And I love that it's a pumpkin one for Halloween. It's very appropriate. Even though I talked to my friend Teresa's dead and I told her I've never tasted the pumpkin. I've never tasted pumpkin. So I think I need to try pumpkin, but at least I can try it in the mask. I love like Korean sheet masks. They're usually so, so good. So let's try this off. Ah, there we go. You are supposed to leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes. So it's a nice prep before. If it wasn't so hard to fix my hair while having a sheet mask on, it would have been perfect to put the sheet mask on while doing my hair. So I'm gonna put this on and I have a pretty small face. You can see that now. Like my face is not that big. Like the mask is covering a, a lot. <laughs> Ooh, this one has a lot of really nice things to make it more fitted. That's nice. Okay, there we go. Let's leave this on to prep my skin for 20 to 30 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been quite some time uh, and I'm gonna take the mask off. I think I had it on for 30 minutes. I got busy like answering some mails. Take whatever serum is left and just massage it into your skin. 
and use this as your like a bit of a prep skincare. I have very normal skin, I don't have very dry skin, so usually for me, just putting a little bit of like moisturizer on after this is fine with me. I'm gonna use a gel moisturizer. Mm. And there's always a bit of serum left in the pouch, so if you want to use that, uh, you can always pour it out and put it, well, everywhere, let's be honest. Who doesn't love a bit of anti-aging serum? Mm. So let me put on a gel moisturizer, let me put on an actual top and a bra, <laughs> and we can get this show on the road. Okay, so we are up and personal. I am gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, like foundation and concealer and powder because those weren't among the products that they sent to me. But I'm gonna be linking the products I use down below because I used brands that are available uh, at Look Fantastic because they have a very wide range of different brands, and some of my favorites are so. I'm gonna be using this new, it's called the Brow Pro Micro 24 hour precision stroke pen. This is from Rimmel London. And this is one of those, like, you like do little hairs in your brows and you know, I love that. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of like a foundation. I usually use a brow powder as a foundation to just map out my brows before I go in with this one. And we're gonna see how this one is. Okay, let's try and see what we can do with this pen because I like doing little brow strokes in my brows to get them to look bushy natural. I don't use a pen like this. I would never use that to fill out my brows because they would definitely look like sharpie brows then. I use them to draw in hairs and create the bushy brows that I just do not have. So this is the difference when you draw some hairs in. I am just gonna gel this as well and you can see the difference on how it looks once you have gotten some like fake hairs in and then just bush them up, <laughs> basically. You see that? Do you see how much bushier the brows look now? Just by creating an illusion of having more hairs in. I think it looks good anyways. I'm also gonna do some primer. I'm actually gonna use, this wasn't included, but I know that they sell Urban Decay. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I have it in Eden, the one that has a bit of color to it. So I'm gonna be using that one. I got two palettes. Uh, I got the Sleek Royal Flush. This one though is a very warm neutral palette, like these colors that you see here. So I think I'm gonna actually save that for a giveaway and instead we're going to use this one that is the Ila Masca Movement Artistry Palette. I don't know if I've used Ila Masca on my channel before but look at this. Look at this. And then on the inside, let me take the plastic out. On the inside it has some like colorful shades but also some more neutral shades and it's got this beautiful whoop, this beautiful dark green here that we have to be using together with this like purpley gray. So I think what we're gonna be doing is that and there is a duochrome green here and 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 I lost it. Hold. There is a glitter here from NYX so I thought we'd do a really glam eye and then we just Halloween it up a bit just to show that maybe if you're not a super 100% like into Halloween looks and don't want to go like fake blood and thing like me this could be a safe route to take if you just want to dip your toes and like fit in with the crowd but at the same time you don't want to be like an actual set on The Walking Dead. So we are going to start with this one, the grayish uh, purpley color here and we're going to take that in the crease and then we're going to deepen it up with this green just to create a bit of a smoky situation. This one was more pigmented than I thought it was going to be but I mean hey, that's a good problem to have. Okay, time to go in with the dark green. Ooh, that is a very pretty smoky green. I'm just gonna 
deepen up the outer corner, putting this on like half of the outer lid and just deepen it up a little bit in the crease as well, making this look a bit dramatic because hey, this is the season to be dramatic. If not now, then when? Okay, so that is really nice and smoky and it's got a little bit of that cool tone green tint. I'm gonna use that like gray matte, like gray purple matte and I'm gonna smudge that under my eyes as well. When you're going dramatic, putting something on your lower lash line is definitely the way to go. But if you're feeling like you want to tone down the look a bit, I would say skip the lower lash line because that is usually the part that makes it very dramatic very fast. Okay, I'm gonna use this one now. This is like a greeny duochrome and I am gonna use a flat brush that I got from NYX. This one is a really nice synthetic flat brush and these are the kind of ones that I like to use for my lid shades. And this one is from NYX so it's very affordable. And I'm I'm just gonna use this as a base because I'm gonna put some glitter on. Ooh, that is really pretty. And I'm not spraying this, I'm just putting it on. But that is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my lid. I'm gonna blend it up here a bit. I'm just gonna fade it in and I'm also gonna put it in my inner corners. That is a pretty shade. I really do like that one. I mean, this would be a pretty look just as it is, but I'm gonna add a little glitter because I have it. And again, this is definitely the season to be dramatic, so why not? I'm gonna use this one in 05 from NYX. It's got like a almost peachy, greeny, gold like glitter to it, but it seems to be like a transparent base. So I'm gonna open this and we are gonna put some of that on because I also have the glitter glue from NYX. This is great for any kind of loose product, to be honest. It's just a really, really great product for loose pigments or loose glitters to really get them to make an impact on your lid. It's also the product that I use if I have a shimmery eyeshadow that I really want to make pop or if I want to make sure that it doesn't crease. This one is also really good for that. So this product has like a little salt shaker and what I like to do is I like to take some of the pigment or like the glitter in the lid because that's going to make it a whole lot easier. Because now you see I have it here in the lid, the sparkly like goldy peach. And then I'm taking the same flat brush and I'm going to take the glitter glue and I'm going to put some on the brush. Like a little dot like that. And then I am putting that where I put the shimmer shadow. I'm just dotting it on, not swiping too much. I'm just dotting. And then I go back with this one and I press the brush in so I get the glitter and then I just put it on to get that glittery effect. Nothing says party like a bit of glitter. If I move out of like focus, I hope you can really see how sparkly it is. Let me do the same on the other eye and then we're gonna do the eyeliner, the final thing. Oh, and mascara. Let me do mascara. Okay, before we do the eyeliner that's gonna be the like center of attention, I'm gonna use one of these shadows. I'm gonna use this one that's like a goldy shimmer and I'm gonna use that with my highlighter brush just to have a bit of, bit of a highlight because I love having a highlight. Sometimes just using a shimmery shadow works just as fine, especially if something is like a champagne gold like this. It can, it can definitely work. Just make sure you don't use something that's too flaky or something that's too opaque because that might end up looking like a streak on your face. We're also gonna set the face. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. I haven't used this one actually. I've only used the other one. Ooh, oh, and this is one of the small bottles. Oh my God, I love that. So let's see how this is. That is a nice. Sometimes I like to go over the highlight a bit more after setting spray to really get it to be shiny and nice. So, okay. I really love that you can get some Urban Decay over at uh, Look Fantastic as well. I've bought some Urban Decay things there, uh, both Urban Decay and MAC. And I'm also so interested that I have a uh, Lime Crank. I didn't know that. So we're gonna use Lana, which is like a bronzy dark lip again. When, when to go dramatic, if not now. 
That's why I put this dress on, because I felt like this would go so well. I love the smell of the Lime Crime Lip Bees. If you're gonna try the metallic lip, I would highly suggest you to try something dark and metallic, because it's a lot more wearable than something light and metallic. Now let's do the eyeliner. This is the Aiko Skinny Smudge Proof Precise and Pitch Black. A liquid liner and it's got a felt tip. I'm gonna do just a normal wing and then we're gonna play. I'm gonna put the autofocus on. You're gonna hear the sounds, but it's just so it's gonna be a bit easier. Cause what I wanna do is I wanna do like drips. I'm just painting a bit like a drip like that and now I'm gonna go in I have a lip pencil listen if you do not have a red pencil just use a lip pencil maybe you have a red lip pencil maybe you can use a red lipstick or anything that's red and just a precise brush I'm gonna use from Lime Crime this is in Poppy and this is like an orange red and I'm gonna use this to fill this in to make it look like blood Again, we are not pros here. We're just doing the best we can. Okay, so this is the eyeliner now, and you saw that that was easy. It doesn't look super professional. Am I gonna be an SFX star now? No, but it's an easy way to just add something. You can see it, it's clear that it's something. Just a bit Halloween-y. I'm gonna complete the look with some wispies from Ardell. This one comes with a free duo glue. I am allergic to latex though. So if you are experiencing some ir irritation and your eyes are running with false lashes, it could be that you're allergic to latex. Duo does have a latex-free glue and it is green. I am gonna use a different glue though that is latex-free, but this is only because I am allergic to latex. I thought I wanted to mention that in case maybe you were experiencing the same thing as me. That could be the reason. So I'm gonna put these wispies on and I think that's gonna be it. I almost forgot to mention, when you put lashes on for the first time, put them like this on your eye and see if they're too long. With this one you can see it's a bit too long. So I use a scissor and I cut a little bit off. I am gonna cut like half a centimeter, I cut this much off. and. Now the lash is going to fit me a lot better, it's not going to lift in the inner corners and it's just going to be my size. So that is also a good trick. If you're feeling like lashes just don't really want to sit down, they're uncomfortable, they're irritating your inner corners, it could be that you just need to cut them a bit. So try that and always cut in the outer end because the inner end is usually tapered so they're gonna blend in naturally to your own lashes. So always cut it in the outer part of the lash to make it look, I don't want to say natural, but not as that as unnatural. Okay, this is the finished look. I love how this looks. It's dramatic, but still, this is a little peak of like a bloody, bloody liner, just giving you that little, just added extra to your Halloween look. This, this look, you could go out in this look, and it's just a little extra. If someone asks you, why don't you have your costume on? You know, you're sitting in the Zoom meeting, your boss is like, I hope you all brought your costumes. You can just be like, it's right here and you'll be saved I'm not the person to be fully dressing up for Halloween so I totally understand if you're not either but this is a fun look to just look a bit glam and just add a little bit of gore at the very tippity tip <laughs> Thank you so much Look Fantastic for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe because I will have another video tomorrow. I'll have another video tomorrow and I will see you then. Bye!